hello students welcome to all so <coughs> in our automobile engineering <coughs> subject we have to discuss on our transmission system so the next topic is overdrive okay so the overdrive you have to see in the, the diagram in this right so the input shaft uh, you have to see this input shaft is connected to the sun gear and also a free wheel clutch right so in this sun gear a carriage or carrier are connected okay and that uh, sun gear are fixed with the searing and that searing is connected to the output shaft right so that is simple construction of our overdrive okay so overdrive is a device to set the gear ratio in the car it is fitted in between gear box and propeller shaft this results in less wear of the engine parts and decrease vibration and noise as the friction losses at the lower speed are less there is there is a saving of fuel also with the overdrive overdrive is generally fitted on top gears only working of overdrive to understand the working of overdrive it consists of an uh, epicyclic gear train in which the sun gear is free to rotate on input shaft while the carrier can move on the splines on the input shaft a free wheel clutch is also fitted on the input shaft spline the output shaft is connected to the ring you have to see the diagram right the input shaft there are a spline shaft uh, input spline uh, sorry input shaft are a spline shaft so in this spline shaft the sun gear is connected then free wheel clutch are also connected and also a carriage are connected so when the sun gear is locked with the casing that is it becomes stationary the speed of output shaft is increased that is overdrive is engaged when however the sun gear is locked to the carrier or to the ring solid drive through the gear train is obtained thus depending on the locking of the sun gear with casing or with the carrier the overdrive is the normal direct drive is obtained right you have to see simple working of overdrive okay then next is <coughs> propeller shaft right you have to see this picture right the simple picture of propeller shaft in this propeller shaft there are three types of part or compo component right you two two universal joint one slip joint and one propeller shaft these are the three components or parts in propeller shaft so first uh, in this shaft as this has to withstand torsional loads it is usually made of tubular cross section it also has to be well balanced to avoid whirling at high speed shaft are made of steel aluminum or composite material you have to see you have to see in this diagram propeller shaft right a simple uh, tubular shaft is over there and then uh, a well balanced shaft is over there uh, to avoid the whirling of high speed means when the high speed is uh, generated that time not whirl, whirl. a shaft that time a well balanced uh, shaft is produced then next is universal joint one or two universal joint depending upon the type of real axle drive used the universal joint account for the up and down movement <coughs> of the rear axle when the vehicle is running ओके यूनिवर्सल जॉइंट हे एक कि दोन असू शकत राइट इट डिपेंड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ रियर एक्सेल ओके यूनिवर्सल जॉइंट है फक्त अप एंड डाउन मुवमेंट सा रियर एक्सेल अप एंड डाउन 
मुवमेंटसाठी हे इझिली किंवा व्हेकल इझिली रन होण्यासाठी ते यूज केलं जातं देन स्लिप जॉईंट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ड्राईव्ह टाईप ऑफ ड्राईव्ह वन स्लिप जॉईंट मे बी देअर इन शाफ्ट दिस सर्व्स टू ॲडजस्ट द लेंथ ऑफ द प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट वेन डिमांडेड बाय रिअर एक्सेल मुवमेंट राईट सो दीज आर द सेम सॉरी सी दीज आर द थ्री कंपोनंट्स ऑफ प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट देन कंस्ट्रक्शन डिटेल्स ऑफ प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट द प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट यूज टू ट्रान्समिट द पावर फ्रॉम गियर बॉक्स आउटपुट शाफ्ट to differential with tubular cross section and one or two piece of construction the two piece propeller shaft is supported at the center by rubber mounted bearing okay then second propeller shaft should be rigid enough to absorb the twisting action due to driving torque and the torsional shock it should also be capable of resisting the vibration right then tubular prop- propeller shaft is generally used because ata simple ahe jar tumhi tubular propeller shaft cha thikani solid shaft ghetla ta kay hoil jeva to highly speed madhe firel right तर त्याच्यामुळे काय होईल जर व्हेकलवर लोड पडलं तर तो जो सॉलिड बार आहे तो बेंड होऊ शकतो त्याच्यामध्ये वर्लिंग प्रोड्यूस होऊ शकते राईट सो का आपण ट्युबुलर प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट यूज करत आहे त्याचे कारणं आहेत इट वेट लेस राईट देन इट कॅन रेझिस्ट मिस अलाइनमेंट राईट देन इट हॅज गुड टॉर्शनल स्ट्रेंथ देन इट प्रोवाइड लेस रेजिस्टन्स टू चेंज द एंग्युलर स्पीड कॉस्ड वेन हुक टाईप कपलिंग इज यूज राईट देन प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट इज रनिंग फास्टर वेन ओव्हर ड्राईव्ह इज यूज हॅन्स इट शुड बी प्रोड्यूस ॲज पर रिक्वायर्ड डिझाईन स्पेसिफिकेशन अँड गुड लिमिट ऑफ बॅलन्स सो दीज आर द सिम्पल पॉईंट्स टू वाय द प्रॉपेलर शाफ्ट आर ट्युबुलर और अ हॉलो देन नेक्स्ट इज युनिवर्सल जॉईंट यू हॅव टू सी द सिम्पल डायग्राम ऑफ युनिवर्सल जॉईंट राईट देर इज अ सिम्पल टू टू फोक और टू योग्स राईट आर कनेक्टेड विथ द क्रॉस स्पिन राईट अँड दिस क्रॉस स्पिन आर कनेक्टेड विथ द नंबर ऑफ कॅप सील निडल्स right different types of parts are using in this right so these are the simple universal joint so uh, universal joint baka ata universal joint madhe don yoke asta right you have to see in this diagram uh, yoke at right? this one and this one okay this one is your one yoke and second is second yoke then cross piece these are the cross piece okay then this cross piece in this cross pin pin cup and the keys are used in this right so the a simple universal joint does not transmit the motion universe uniformly when the shafts are operating an angle because of this two universal joints are used in a vehicle one between the gear box and the propeller shaft okay and other between the propeller shaft and the differential pinion right simple then next is uh, universal joints allows driving torque to be carried through two shafts that are at an angle with each other a simple universal joint consists two y shaped yoke one on the driving shaft and other on the driven shaft the four arm of spider are <clears throat> the four arm spider are, the four arm spiders are assembled in needle bearing in the two yokes the driving shaft and yoke force the spider to rotate the other two turnian 
of the spider then cause the driven yoke to rotate when the two shafts are at an angle with each other the needle bearing permits the yokes to swing around on the turnian sorry turnian with each revolution okay next point is slip joint right the slip uh, slip joint is in between your uh, universal joint and your propeller shaft okay you have to see this diagram propeller shaft universal coupling okay slip joint is attached to the driven yoke in order the increase or decrease the length of propeller shaft okay so slip joint is attached to the driven yoke right in order to increase or decrease the length of propeller shaft ha jo slip joint hai tumche driven shaft la connected asto ani ya slip joint ne tumchi ji shaft chi length hai ti increase ani decrease hote it has outside splines on the shaft and matching internal splines in a mating hollow shaft or yoke when assembled the splines cause the shafts to rotate together while they can move back and forth this changes the length of propeller shaft okay so that is simple <coughs> types of drive chain right different types of drive chain <coughs> drive chain <coughs> drive train we have to see in this diagram uh, in this lecture right next time we have to see the final drive so that is the end